Hello friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 11th video uh, in VCPA data center virtualization 2023 and in this video I'm going to show you how to increase or expand the capacity of your data store. So let's say what is the scenario where you need to add a more capacity in existing data store. Let's say the data store is getting full and you have some virtual machine running inside those data store and uh, there was no option to you know reclaim the space and you want to add more space on the virtual machine so you need a backend data store to be uh, extended to some other size or maybe a bigger size so that's why you need to uh, <coughs> have a play system or a process in place to increase or expand the data store so in this video we are going to uh, see how we can do that so regarding lab environment this is the same lab environment which we are using from last two three videos so i got my domain controller iskc server and two esxi host to give you domain so <clears throat> this is my domain controller and i have logged into my vcenter server through this and this is my esxi so currently this is the uh, you know in last video we have created two data store these two data store VMware DS01 and DS02 both was the size of one terabyte now we need want to <coughs> expand the size of these data store so I'm going on my uh, storage server which is iSCSI storage if we have any you know a SAN then you can go there and expand the size <coughs> so here I'm going to click on extend and what is the size so I'm going to make it 1.2 TB for DS01 and then ds02 i'm going to extend to one point let's say 1.5 and oh and click ok so now you will see both sizes updated 1.2 tb and 1.5 tb now to do this thing to get this extended on the data store what you need to do you need to go on configure and then select your storage adapter and go for a storage rescan once this rescan is done then you you should be able to extend your data store so now go to data store right button and increase capacity so now you will see this 1.2 terabyte is now showing capacity so just click on next and then you can see the size how much it's going to be added so just click on finish so future data store size is going to be 1.2 terabytes so click on finish so now this is subjected and same thing you can go here and do for second data store so 1.5 terabyte capacity you can see click next and next and finish now you will see this is also updated and so oh, you need to update this on only one ESXi host and the rest you will see here the storage update is automatically executed on all of the servers so ESXi 1, 4, 3 is automatically going to be refreshed since ESXi 2 got a uh, storage uh, you know our capacity got refreshed so if you check now you will see here it's auto updated so this is good thing with VMware uh, so now you don't need to run a scan manually on each day each ESXi host to get the new size so this is good now I will show you one more time go here on the, your SAN or your storage go and extend the LUN so whatever new size you want to put give that size make sure at this uh, storage size its new size is reflected and then just go here on your data store on any of the one ESXi host and increase if you try to increase capacity it might be it will not show you right away because you need to run scan adapter so go on adapter select your adapter and run the storage scan on that particular ESXi host okay once that is done you will see here run I scan all HP is done scan VMFS is done now you should be able to do it so right button and increase capacity you will see now new size is there just click on next and next and finish i will see both uh, uh, data store size is updated to 1.5 and the task is taken to update all other esxi host so this is done 
so this is state forward how you can create uh, basically extend or expand or increase the capacity of your current data store and definitely there was there will be no downtime if you want to extend your data store size so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me my given mail thank you once again bye bye